Hi everyone and welcome back to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. Today I'm so excited. Today we will launch the better access to the digital journal designer. If you don't know what this is, it just allows you to build your very own digital journal by the push of a button. It's really easy and I can show you now how it looks like in the better. And if you pre-ordered the access to this digital journal designer, then you will be able to access this today. If you're still keen to join this beta and help us within the next month to improve everything, to let us know what features are missing, the pre-order is still ongoing. You can join us anytime and you will be able to access what I will show you now from today onwards. And now I'm happy to announce the digital journal designer. All right, when you go to the website for the first time and you've never been on the Paperless Movement website, this is what you will see. And all you have to do is just go up to the shop and go to digital journals. And if you go down here, then you see there is protected Tom Solid Digital Journal Designer. All right, and we have already 111 reviews. Why? Because these are the reviews from my digital journal, which was a which was possible to buy, and this is the feedback from the community. And it was a static digital journal. And what we can do with this designer now, we can produce exactly the same journal as you are used to have, or you can just produce your own journal. What this means, we will check out now. So once you click on there, you will present it to enter the password. You will receive the password to enter this if you pre-order the digital journal and press enter and there we are. This is how it looks right now. It is not the final design or, or version. It is the better access now, but it has most of the functionalities that you can expect from the final product. And with your feedback during the beta phase, we will implement even more things. So what you have here on the right side, it looks like the normal product page as you're used on my website. However, the addition is that you can have some options here. So, and you have here a preview button and this will allow you whatever you change on one side will be represented on the preview. So before purchasing, the digital journal in the future, you will be able to check out if it is looking as you want it to be. So one thing to mention is for the better access, the price is at zero and also for the options, there's a zero. This will change after release, obviously. And if you pre-order it now, you can have free access for whatever options you are choosing there after the launch of the digital journal to produce your own digital journal. So this is included in a pre-order obviously as well. So let's just check this out and press landscape. Press next. I could anytime press here the generate preview button, but we come to this in a moment. And you see already that we have eight steps and we are in step two of eight. So you know exactly where you are and what you're doing. And then we choose the start date. And that's really important because the digital journal I offered so far was obviously as you're used for the paper journals, one year only. So from January to December. Now you have the option to choose any month. So you can buy it whenever you want during the year. So let's say we want to start journaling in June. We just select June of 2020. Then you can choose how many months should be included in this. Maybe you just want to finish this year with six months and then you want to start a new one. This will change in price, obviously, the, the more months you have. So let's say we have 12 months and then I will show you that you can actually go from June to June next year and how this will be represented in a digital journal. It's really exciting stuff here. Okay, so we will start in the month of June, 12 months, go next. And then we have here the digital journal content. And that's really important. If you know the digital journal, I offer the yearly view, a weekly view, a monthly view and a daily view. All right, so the weekly view, I will show you in a second what this means. We will just hit all the boxes, yes, to show you what it is cap capable of. And now a very high demanded feature was when to start the weekday, all right? So I had to manually build this in the past and now we have generator in back 
that actually will change the whole journal depending on what you choose as a week start. So this means if you choose Monday as a week start, not only in the week view, the, the Monday will start in the beginning, it will also be represented in the monthly and in the yearly view. So I show you what this means in a second. So let's say Sunday um, for, this per for this demonstration. And here as well, so you can choose here the, the time frames when you're working. So let's say I'm working from 8 until 10 p.m. <laughs> A long time but this will be the time frame for the week view you will see in a second and I say I want to have a monthly view and now let's just for this part we already in step 3 generate a preview and what this does it will generate now the preview for you it gives you this information here and there we are there we have the preview so you see already the, the, the yearly overview and you see the monthly view you see the weekly overview and you see the day notes all right so we haven't set up anything for the day notes, that's default settings. But what we see already, it starts on Sunday and it starts on Sunday here in the monthly view and it starts on Sunday on the yearly view. Isn't this awesome? And as soon as I press here Monday and generate the preview again, then you will see directly what is going on. And we see here, let's finish. And we see here, starts Monday, starts Monday and it starts on Monday. So don't worry about these lines, this will be fixed when you uh, start your version. But what I just want to show you also your start times. It fills in the timings now on your week page 8 to 10 p.m. as we have chosen here, that's really awesome. Let's go to the next page and let's see what we can choose here. Do you want to have a to-do list page? I will show you what this means. Yes, I want to have it. And what I have in, included in the final version is little snippet videos in here explaining exactly what these features actually mean if you add them or not. This will be available right here in this page to check out if you want to have it or not. Add milestone page. Yes, I want to have everything right now so I can show you what it is capable of. So this is the video that I was mentioning. It will look like this. What is a project manager, for example, when I add a project manager, if you click on this, you will get a little video explaining exactly what this is. And we say, yes, we want to have this. Later on in the finished version, we already have this on our roadmap. You can choose how many projects should be included in your digital show. That's really exciting as well. Press next. And then we are on the, tail, on the, on the daily view layout. And I think that's really, really exciting because I know some of you maybe want want to have lines to write on a daily view. Maybe some of you want to have grid or dotted. And we don't only included lines because one issue that I many people reached out to me, they wanted to have different line heights. Some people wanted to have wider lines than others wanted to have narrower lines, line spacings. And this is now perfectly possible here to choose on your own. So let's say you want to have the um, narrow ruled and then we have the color palette what this means i show you in a second and the top section what this means let's just press yes i will show you in a second as well let's click preview and i can show you already on the product page the differences what this means by just a simple press of a button so here we are and here's our day page so we have lines and we have no narrow lines so that's really awesome and you see this is the top section I know many of you like this top section because they were able to add a summary here and make some no sketch notes and so on in this section. But maybe you just want to use the whole space to write your notes. You can do this now perfectly. Just press no here and let's in the same thing make this a bit wider or take the other extreme. Okay, but now let's say that we want to have this setup here. What you also will have, you have the custom color design. So we can change the colors as we want with this nice color picker here. Or if you have company branding, something like this, branding colors, then you can add your hex decimal or RGB uh, numbers here. But let's make some extreme colors just to show you that this works as well. And then say, okay, that's fine. You again can press the preview button to just generate this. And there we go. I just change the colors by the press of a button. You can do the background and so on. Later on, we also will have presets of different color palettes that you really fit into this journal. If you have any issues to get your branding in this, 
give us the feedback during the beta phase and we are happy. And you will be able to add your logo, your, your branding logo here as well and it will be represented on each page in the final version as well. So that's the state here. As soon as I go back to standard, that's the normal branding that you are used to from this journal. Just press this and it will generate you a new journal again. Don't worry about these lines and the, these hidden lines there. Um, that's just the issue with the preview right now while I'm recording this video, but this will be fixed in the background and will be perfectly working as soon you hit the, the beta access or during the beta phase. So that's no issue and it won't appear on the final product. And as we did already, we entered here a name and that's it. So now I can add this to cart. And then in the cart overview, you have an overview of all the settings you have chosen here. And then the total price in the end, which is during the beta access for free. So you can just per go through the whole purchase process, order it, you have to fill out your details as you already pre-ordered the access. You can just go here, click here to log in. And then I can add my username and log in and it will fill out the, the information. And important is that you add the email address it should be sent to down here. And then you optionally you can add to go to the newsletter thing. And then you again, you see the setup accept and place the order and that's it. And now you can just directly go to your email account. And here we are in the, in the Gmail inbox and you see now that the order is received. And what will happen now in the background, your journal will be generated and you will get an update email and an order complete email as soon as this is finished. Right now it can take up to 10 minutes until this journal is finished. Depending on what options you've chosen, it can be more than 500 pages that need to be generated individually for you. So this will take some time, but don't worry, it shouldn't take any longer than 10 minutes. And we will just test this during the better access and how the performance is there. Be patient when you order this and if you didn't receive anything after one hour of your order please contact me and let us know that this happened we can show on the back end if some issues are there and we can fix these as soon as possible because obviously therefore we have the better access to figure these things out and now let's just wait until the order receives and now you see i received more emails um, one is the note added to your paperless movement order that's the email that's really important because in here you will find the download link for your digital journal and you will get another one with the order is complete thanks for the order and you have a pdf file in the back which has the invoice included right so we are interested in this one now so you just tap on this download link and it will open a new tab and it will download your digital journal and the size is decreased as well compared to the digital journal we had before I can press simply press download you see it's very fast and now you can say open in so that's in German here but it means open in so in, for notability for example you can simply choose notability here and it will copy it into here and it will ask you if it should create a new note so everything is in German right now so I'm sorry about that but you will be presented with the same display and it will tell you, should it create a new node from this? And then you say, yes, that's important that you create a new node. You can change the node title. So that's the license key for your digital journal. You can say um, journal, whatever you want to name it. And that's it, go back and the theme and then import. And here we are and there it is. It's imported into Notability with a click of a button. So that's really that easy. And you see in the background, the beta access watermark. So it just shows you that this is a beta version. However, look how good functional this already is. You have the yearly overview as you're used to. As you know, in Notability, it's not as easy to navigate in these journals. So we have to choose the other tool here. And then we can just tap on here and jump to this page. And there it is. Or we jump to this page and we have the monthly overview. Everything is clickable, look at this. I just tap on this and we can go to this page. We have the, the weekly overview. As soon, you know, we on July the 8th, uh, it is Wednesday, shows you this and the year. And we can cl just click here on the week view. We jump to the week view and you see now that the lines are perfectly there 
it was uh, it wasn't ready in the preview this will be fixed but you see the final product has the lines as expected all right so we can go to the 14th for example now we in july july the 14th as soon as we press here the week view it will jump to the week view of july the 14th you see here the highlight of the days included in this week view so this is working as you were used to from my own journals before we also have the button for the to do view here is the button missing that will be included that brings you back to the yearly overview as you're used to and we also have the milestones view here and you see as well that we have the project sections again this works perfectly i can just press any button here and go to the different project view let's include edit now to good notes it's the same thing i can still have this open and it will open up good notes and it will also ask you where to save it so we just save this as a new document it will import now the document and you see it's working perfectly fine it's imported now and you see there it is this is our journal it works in good notes the same way we have here on the side by the way the calendar uh, weeks so we can also tap here but you see it's not working the tab this is because of good notes you have first tap on top here then you can tap these buttons and it will jump to this view we can go back to the yearly overview go to another weekly view you see it's perfectly working fine as you are used to from these digital journals in these note-taking apps let's do this again for note shelf we just press the button in note shelf copy into note shelf and now we see it's importing into note shelf and you see that the size is perfect in note shelf and Still, in my opinion, it is the best way to use the digital journal to use it in Nodeshelf because it's just optimized for these things. I can use my, my Apple Pencil right in there and I can also tap on these and write. So the navigation in these digital journals is just much easier in Nodeshelf using your Apple Pencil and that's perfectly fine. It's just a charm how good this works and it is now perfectly designed for your use case so this is just the better version we have one month to go the, the the goal is to launch the final product in june and we want to use this month really to make bug smashing all this and we need your help for this thanks for all of you who already signed up to the pre-order there's a lot of people already lined up want to test out this so i thank you very much for your trust, for your commitment, and I'm happy to let you into this closed beta now. And as I said, if you're interested to join, it is still possible. Just go to the description below and choose the link to start this beta access. And then you will be presented with a survey. After you downloaded this, you will get a survey link where you can just answer the questions to let me know to let us know how to improve this, what is still missing, what features you want to have for the future, and so on and so on. I can tell you I'm so excited about this product. That's really amazing. Let me know in the comments below if you're one of them who pre-ordered and who are excited. Let us know already your first experience you have with this digital journal designer, how it is. Let others know how you like it and share this video with your friends if you think it is useful for other people as well and if you haven't already subscribed to this channel obviously and i see you inside the paperless movement inner circle membership maybe or you know via email reach out and things like this when we talk about the better face of the digital channel designer